Welcome back to another episode of Why Iowa. And this week we're going to talk to you about the three-point shot. Here in the heartland, this is the working man. These are the fields of dreams of America. No, you can't take that away. Cause I want to stay here in the heartland. The three-point shot will bring a crowd to its feet with excitement. Brooks McCown of Wapsie Valley became the leading scorer in the state. Brian Pearson and Troy Skinner of Palmer took their team to three state championships. And Jeff Horner of Mason City was comfortable anywhere beyond the arc on pulling the trigger. The three-point shot has sparked comebacks. It's sealed victories. And for those that may have been vertically challenged in basketball, it turned them into a threat on the court. But when did the three-point shot become part of the game? In 1979, the NBA implemented the three-point shot. And that was also the same year that Magic Johnson of the Lakers and Larry Bird of the Celtics came into the league. The NCAA had allowed a few conferences to experiment with it, with the first being the Southern Conference during the 1980-81 season. And then the state of Iowa would lead the nation in bringing the three-point shot to high school basketball. Bernie Sago was the executive director of the Iowa High School Athletic Association and a longtime college basketball official. And he saw an opportunity to bring some excitement to the game, to loosen up the defenses, keeping teams from huddling underneath the basket to protect the rim. He petitioned the National Federation of High School Sports to have the state of Iowa have a two-year experimental three-point shot that would be at 19 feet from the front of the rim to the top of the key. The request was granted. During the summer of 1982, Gyms across the state of Iowa would see a three-point line being put into place. And that season would change basketball in the state forever. The NCAA would follow by implementing the three-point shot in 1986. And in 1987, the National Federation of High School Sports would implement the rule across the United States. It's hard to imagine the game today without a three-point shot. But in the early 80s, Bernie Saga was a visionary willing to lead the charge and the state of Iowa has never looked back beyond the arc. Reminder to all of our Iowa visitors, thanks to our partner Musco Lighting, all Iowa students receive free admission to the Iowa Hall of Pride. Play it up, gentlemen. One, two, three, play it up. I guess it never really clicked, maybe after my sophomore year when I averaged 33 points or whatever, but, you know, my brothers helped me out a lot, too, in the same sense. He's kept me so I didn't get a big hit. You know, he'll come out and beat me right now in one-on-one, -on -one probably, if he wanted to. So he's taught me how to shoot, and, you know, my dad's kept my head down, too. So, you know, I just come out and play. It's just fun to play. Play defense! Play defense! It's a great story. You know, just the fact that, you know, since he was in, uh, you know, kindergarten before kindergarten, he was at my practices in the gym, and he just spends tireless hours shooting the basketball, and it paid off. It's nice to see. Tonight might probably be my best moment, just finally breaking it and having the crowd cheer the way they did and be there for me and everybody else being there for me, you know. It was just a great honor to have everybody here with me. My uncle flew in, you know, from South Carolina to see it. My grandma missed it, though, because she got stuck in Texas, but it was just a great honor to have everybody here with me. Passing Cole Hearn and the way he's helped me all the way through and just told me what to do, you know, and how to handle everything. And he's done a good job doing that with me, and the rest of my team's been really good. He got the points, and, and we knew it was a done deal, and that was very enjoyable. But, you know, the game was so close at that point that there wasn't much enjoyment. I mean, you had to get right back into what was going on, and that was in the middle of a pretty big run for us, and we wanted to make sure our kids didn't lose focus at that point, and they didn't. You know, they came back and, as a matter of fact, kind of fed off of it and really got some things going for us. Oh! Well, he's helped me out a lot. He gets me out in the gym on Sundays, and he rebounds for me. Hard as that to believe, he actually moves and rebounds for me, but... He gets out there and helps me, and he helps with my shot. You know, if there's something wrong with my shot, I ask him, and he tells me. Saddle. Everybody's doing their job. We're checking out. We're hedging it back on streets. Now, come on, play good fundamental basketball. Hey. 
What? In his seventh grade year, when he finally played up with his own age group, um, you could really tell. And and I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, a guy from Sumner, I wish I could remember his name, one of the referees there, said he had refereed when Todd Burton Pass was playing. And he says, it's just like Todd. You know, he compared it to uh, how they played the game. You know, and I told Brooks that was a heck of a compliment. Now let's see if you're ever going to be that good. And, you know, and it's turned out he is. And it's very nice. Flips the pass to Rakers inside it goes, turn around, jumper up and good. Kyle Kinsling's first field goal, he has three points. Run guard in front of Gordon, low guard it goes, Rakers shot is up and good over the top of Sipker. Osbert wants run guard to come get the ball, he does. Four seconds, two, and a long three on the way is good! Brian Brungard with an NBA three to end the first half. Dunkerton 29, Manning 15. Pass right side, one timed up and in. That's Markworth. whoever to say that I was part of that team. Every single one of you. Every single one of you was part of that team. Unbelievable. You deserve it. You did what you had to do. You took out the number one team in the state. You took out the number two team in the state. You showed them what Raider basketball was all about. And it came down to one thing. Defense. So that was defense, man. So proud of you. Enjoy it. We're going to party. We're going to party like it's 1933. Like <laughs> <laughs> hey, one last time for a team. I'm not saying goodbye to anybody. I always say goodbye to, you, to all the seniors. State we're, champs. We're together for life. Yep. This is the one time I don't do it. Family, 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 family,